The southeast crater of Mount Etna showed increased Strombolian activity on April 11, 2025, causing a strong ash cloud emission to reach an altitude of about 5.5 kilometers above the volcano and drifting southeast. The aviation color code was raised to red. The amplitude of volcanic tremors at Mount Etna began to increase at 18.30 p.m., reaching its highest level at 22.50 p.m. The source of the tremors is located beneath the southeast crater at an altitude of about 2.9 kilometers, 1.8 miles above sea level. Infrasonic activity has also increased since 2300 p.m. localized to the same crater. Despite these signs of increased activity, the Ground Deformation Monitoring Network Strong Strombolian activity was observed at the summit crater with weak ash emissions around midnight, prompting the Etna Volcano Observatory to raise the aviation color code from orange to red. Lava flows extend to the foot of the volcano on all sides and have reached the sea in a large area on the southeastern side. Activity increased with explosive activity and strong ash emissions at 0418 a.m. The volcanic cloud height was estimated at about 5.5 kilometers from the summit, moving southeast. Explosive activity decreased over the next four hours, with weak ash emissions still ongoing at 8.11 a.m. The volcano exhibits two main types of eruptions, continuous explosive activity at the summit and less frequent but more violent flank eruptions. These spectacular sites attract thousands of thrill-seekers from all over the world to the slopes of Mount Etna in Sicily. However, above a certain height, it is a legal requirement to climb with a qualified mountain guide. They know how to keep visitors safe, especially when the volcano is spewing molten magma and are a source of knowledge about the great Mount Etna. When the current eruption began, thousands of visitors came to see the energy radiating from one of the world's most active volcanoes. Even for experienced guides like Asia Pioro, visiting during an eruption is a unique sight and emotion every time. You can see the column of gas and ash in the air and sometimes hear the explosions, which sound like thunder. If you are near the lava flow, you can hear the sound of glass breaking and feel the heat of the lava. For guide Saro Trovato, the sight of the glowing lava in the dark volcanic landscape is breathtaking. Glass shattering as the lava cools, explosions and deep roars like a giant tiger in a cage. The experience is a mixture of awe and adrenaline. The ground may vibrate slightly under your feet, and you will often smell the strong smell of sulfur in the air. Even from a distance, you can feel the heat emanating from the fresh lava flow. Some guests come with no knowledge or expectations about volcanoes. Imagine their surprise when they climb an active volcano during an eruption. Tour guide Luigi Cutore says that what climbers experience is pure adrenaline. You need to find the perfect spot to admire the view. Like a magnet, you leave everything and go to witness nature's most powerful show. Tourists come from all over the world and their reactions are awe and fear, a fantastic mix. Etna tour guides are experts in safety. 
something that should always be a priority, especially during an eruption. Tour guides know the area well, can recognize dangers, and are in contact with volcanologists and rescuers in case of an accident. However, your safety is not just the responsibility of the tour guide. As a climber, you too must be prepared and aware of the dangers.